Welcome back to Vault Hunters 118, where we are so out of Vault Diamonds, I can't even make a Regret Flask for, or a Choice Flask for Hunter to even look for more Vault Diamonds. Yeah, we are in dire straits when it comes to Vault Diamonds, and we are stuck, I'm pretty sure, on a Hunter of Living, which really sucks. I'm pretty sure, I, I literally, there's no way for me to get more Vault Diamonds, unless I were to, like, do some Soul Shard trading? I don't know if I really have anything, though, that, well, I mean... That's a lot of driftwood. That's a lot of meat. That's a lot of burger buns. Yeah, I could I could trade away some of this stuff. Oh, perfect. Three vault diamonds for 162. Awesome. We're ballin'. Ballin'. Oh, and a vault diamond block for 227? I don't actually need to run a vault anymore to do what I wanted to do in this episode. Wow, that just completely changed my plans for well, I was gonna run a vault. To get vault diamonds, because we need vault diamonds to do a fission reactor, but I think there should be enough vault diamonds to do our fission reactor. Well, I guess I'll put this crystal away for now. I still am going to make the choice flask for Hunter, because, it, just in case. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, that is very nice find. Sweet. So what do I need the vault diamonds for? For control rod assemblies, which we're going to need five of for the fission reactor setup that I'm looking at. We're also going to need lead and steel. We have a ton of steel, and I'm producing lead right now. But of course, it's these elite control circuits that require two vault diamonds each, which means we need tie, uh, tie, five, no, ten, ten vault diamonds. We need ten vault diamonds to do what we want. And you know what? We're probably going to need to actually run that vault. So I'm glad I saved that because we're going to also probably want to get started on fissile fuel production, which is going to require an isotropic centrifuge. That's going to require a lot of vault diamonds. Okay, so we will have to run a vault, just uh, not immediately. Unless, of course, we get super lucky with vault diamonds again. I mean, I'm just going to keep trading. Maybe we get all the vault diamonds we need right here, right now. Well, I did the math, and we need 26 vault diamonds in total. We have 16, but that is enough for the fuel rod assembly, so we're still going to have to run a vault, but we don't have to run a vault immediately. Oh, wait. I forgot. We need four of these, which is two more, so we need 28 vault I mean, okay. We have enough to do this stuff, I think. I think, maybe. Uh, but we still have to run. We have to run a vault. My point is, we're going to be running a vault. Oh, check out all this lead that is ready for us. There's still more on the way. Boy, there's a lot more on the way. Wow. Uh, but that is going to be, or at least this amount of lead is most likely going to be enough. I'm going to throw this all into our bulk smelter for create. And we will get started on getting the rod assembly. So I think we're going to need five of these control rod assemblies, which means we're going to need five elite control circuits. And we are going to need... 10, I think, of these fission fuel assemblies, I'm pretty sure, which means 10 basic chemical tanks. Here, let me check the uh, nuclear plant, the build of this. Uh, yes, because the rod assembly goes here, and then the fuel assemblies go here, and we want to do them in a checkerboard pattern. That's the most efficient way. Yeah, perfect. This place is so cool. All right, these guys are super cheap, very easy to produce. These guys are just going to take a little bit longer because we need the elite control circuits and advanced control circuits, which is basic control circuits and infused alloys and all that stuff. It just takes a while. I'll be right back. Well, we instantly ran out of Laramar, so I am going to fortune up a giant pile of two stacks. And while I'm doing this, I just want to say we are so close to 1,000 subscribers. I believe we're less than 30 subscribers away at the point of recording this because you guys are going insane you guys are going insane mode on subscriptions and if you aren't subscribed if you're new to the channel if you're liking this content so far please consider subscribing it would mean the world to me to hit a thousand subscribers uh like 20 days ahead of what i had expected i mean almost an entire month you guys are insane and i cannot thank you enough also 300 laramar is really cool but you guys are cooler. All right, here are the control rod assemblies. It's exciting. How many vault diamonds do we have left? Uh, I think we have enough actually to make those ports, right? Yes, yes, we do. Okay, and here we have the four ports, and four ports are very important. Okie dokie, back at the nuclear power plant, we are just gonna set up our rods, which are very easy. It is a super, super duper simple pattern. This is uh, an efficient way of doing it. 
There we go. If you've seen one of these generators before, I'm sure this is a really, really familiar setup to you. And then we are going to be using four reactor ports. If I remember correctly, we could do one here. And this is currently, I believe, let's see. We'll do input only. Here we will do our waste output. Very important. Uh, over here, we can do our coolant input. There, no, input. And then we could do an output coolant up top, I think is all the ports you need. Hopefully. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. But now, if I do this, we should get red particles and a GUI. And that actually is our fission reactor. Um, definitely shouldn't activate this because there's absolutely no coolant. And besides, it actually won't make any power. Nope. This thing doesn't make power on its own. It makes steam. The next thing we need is a turbine setup. Yeah, we need turbine casings, turbine valves, turbine vents, turbine blades, turbine rotors. Oh my gosh, we need so, so much. Uh, but before that, we need fuel and a lot of fun stuff for this thing. So we this is like step one of three. We are most definitely going to want to run a vault to get more vault diamonds because the next step I want to get through is fissile fuel and oh boy, are we going to need vault diamonds. Ooh, wealthy and ornate. Well, okay, well, ornate doesn't do anything for us. We're looking for vault diamonds um, and carbon, to be perfectly honest. We're low on chromatic steel as well. Ooh, is this an ore room? Okay, well, I'm gonna have to take the ore room as well. Ah, uh, how? My legs? Yeah, Laramar is gonna be a massive, massive concern going forward. We have a lot of it, don't get me wrong. We're still very, very, very full up on it. But, oof, part of me almost wants to go hunter observer and just try to like complete this vault, see if we can't get what we need from that. But it, it feels foolish. Like it feels like a foolish thing to do, but I mean, I don't know. I'll, I'll see. I'll, I'll see where we are on Vault Diamonds uh, further into the vault. If we're doing okay on Vault Diamonds, we'll go for a completion and hope that our crate has a lot of Vault Diamonds in it. Because I swear, I swear they can. Oh man, an X Mark room. You know what? I have to do it. In honor of the X Mark rooms that I skipped in the last vault I was looking for Vault Diamonds, I just got to do it. Though, to compensate, I think I am going to spec my hunter into Gilded, because we're not doing very well on the Vault Diamond specs at the moment. Yes, I knew I should have trusted this one. Ooh, pants, very nice. Alright, show me the Gilded. Bad start. Ah, there is a monolith in here though, so glad I looked around anyways. I wanted to check if this was an ore room, and I'm thinking it is. Yep. What is with X marks room and coming in multiples? I, I mean, of course I'm going to do this one. Clearly, we're not very focused as a vault. Wow, this vault really is making up for the last one. Ooh, and an axe. Very nice. Things are getting a little tight here, but I'm one away from the exit room, and I am not leaving all these gilded chests. We have not done well on vault diamonds. I am risking everything. And it's a mob trap that's really bad for time. Ah, you guys. You silly little mob trap guys. Alright. We'll eat our kiwis, avoid our damage, and try to get on out of here as fast as we can. Like the gingerbread man, which is very thematic to where we are. Hmm, this X mark room was not next to the exit room. Perhaps are farther away than I thought. That's fine. We have a stack of kiwis and probably enough health. There we go. We're gonna need to eat one. Nah. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. 1400 XP because we got a ton of ores. Check it out. 112 Laramar from a single vault. Yeah, that should that should keep us okay for a while. No, it won't. It'll keep us okay for like two seconds. But anyways. Um, let's see, 13 Vault Diamonds. Okay, not as bad as I thought, not as bad as I thought. And hey, 439 raw carbon is really good, and all of these focuses, I'm just gonna melt down into their Soul Shard values to trade for even more Vault Diamonds. So, honestly, I think we're sitting pretty good. And look, the, look at this, 
more than 800 vault dust for crafting stuff. Pretty slick, actually. All right, well, I was only able to trade for one more vault diamond. But in that vault, I did remember mod boxes. Mod boxes, mod boxes, which we have half a stack of. And who knows, maybe we'll get something we really need from a mod box. But first, I figure we should roll our cool vault gear that we got from all those ornate chests. Ooh, spiky plate mail leggings. That's not good, though. Oh, eh, that's, that's all right. That's an all right rare. And that's not that good. Um, this guy... I mean, uh... Is it that good? Honestly, it's, it's, it's eh, it's all scrap. It'll scrap, but I could turn it into something better. All right, let's mess with some mod boxes. Yeah, give me some mechanism generator stuff. Oh, I think I see generator stuff. I do, I see some mechanism stuff in there. Ooh, maybe we just got really lucky. Let's suck it all up. Very fun. All right, let me sift through this. Okay, two solar generators. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. A bio generator. Interesting. Very interesting. What's this? A heat generator. Ooh, okay. Another one of those bins that I have no idea what they do. And a, an advanced fluid tank. And that's all from mechanism. Not bad, though. These solar generators are used in the creation of the advanced solar generation, which is a really powerful thing. You can even stick it on, like, brine production to super speed it. How much does this stuff make? Oh, 25 FE per tick. It's not that good, but not that bad either. Honestly, not a bad mod box haul. I'm curious what 887 vault dust and 133 vault nuggets turns into, at least with vault ingots. 26. Ooh, not bad. And we got a ton, a ton of carbon from that. Beautiful. All right, well, we have 16 vault diamonds, which might be enough. I don't know. Let's find out. So fissile fuel is a complicated little guy. Uh, it needs to be put, or it needs this thing called an isotopic centrifuge, which immediately takes eight vault diamonds and some echo gems. That's what two ultimate control circuits are. You then need uranium hexafluoride, which is uranium oxide and hydrofluoric acid in a chemical infuser. No vault diamonds. Uranium oxide is yellow cake uranium in a chemical oxidizer. No vault diamonds. Yellow cake uranium is uranium ingots in an enrichment chamber. No vault diamonds. Hydrofluoric acid is sulfuric acid f and fluorite in a chemical disillusionment chamber. That is eight more vault diamonds and even more echo gems. And sulfuric acid, we can actually already produce. So that is my idea. I'm going to just take the sulfuric acid generation from this thing and maybe even potentially route it into this guy over here. Put a fluid storage cell uh, and just like <laughs> fill it up. Yeah, just pump a bunch of digital sulfuric acid across the world. So we need 16 vault diamonds, which we have exactly. And just to show it off, for those of you who don't know, to create these ultimate control circuits, you need one of those elite control circuits, which is ready made, and atomic alloy, which is melted down echo gems, because why not, into reinforced alloy. So to make one of these, it's still just one circuit, but, oh, you know what? No, you need eight vault diamonds per one of these, because it's two vault diamonds here, and then two vault, no, it's four. I'm right. I did my math right. Hey, I did my math right for the first time. All right, got all the non-Echo Gem stuff crafted up. Now is the Echo Gem stuff. And the reason I waited for that is because we need to make, I believe, four of these atomic alloys, which is a hundred millis of Echo Gems. So I think I only have to burn one because we have leftover. I should be clear, because we have leftover. Yes, because I have 75 in here and this turns into 25. No, it turns into 75, so... There we go, we just doubled it, that should be enough. Oh, wait a minute. No, because it's 8 times 25, which is 200. So I need to spend another Echo Gem, don't I? Yeah. Okay, alright, that's fine. I don't mind I don't mind putting two Echo Gems into this. We have a ton of Echo, look at that, 7 ore left. We have 15 Echo left. Like, I could have put in an extraordinary Echo Gem to, like, be at maximum efficiency, but... I don't know if we'd ever use 1,800 millibuckets of infused Echo Gems, and I feel like it'd actually be more of a waste to be efficient with our Echo Gems, so I'm gonna stick to this. Alrighty, Atomic Alloy. 
got to be one of the most frustrating things to craft. It's not the most expensive thing to craft. Like, it's no Echo Pog. But, like, melting down your Vault Diamonds, or your Echo Gems, rather. Ugh. Horrible feeling. But they do make really cool-looking Ultimate Control Circuits. And now I should be able to make, uh, barring this one chemical tank, our Isotropic Centrifuge, which is a completely new machine. And just need to whip up some Laramar stuff. And we'll be able to make our steel casing and our gases and everything we need. Oh, do I? I probably don't have. Yeah, okay. Reinforced obsidian. All right, all right. You guys have seen me make this reinforced obsidian stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. Okay, chemical dissolution chamber. Perfect. Well, before I get any of that set up, we are going to need a lot of sulfuric acid. So I am just going to have this guy output sulfuric acid on the front and stop outputting on the back. And I'll put 10 stacks of gunpowder in here and just wait. Just wait for a while until I have uh, 256 buckets of it. Yep. 